now let us go to Julia, who is with a Peterborough author. Thanks, Scott. Joining us now in the studio is Kevin Callan. He's the author of several outdoor books, and his latest is Ways of the Wild, A Practical Guide to the Outdoors. Welcome. Hi, uh, Julia. You know, it's funny. I was reading through your book, and I, I dog-eared about 95% of the book. But only, you know, it's a funny because you put personal antidotes into it, and it's sort of, uh, you laugh if you've ever gone camping because you've yeah. made some of the same mistakes that... Yeah, it's good um, in that way because I find people laughing at themselves in it. I mean, I'll be honest, I did a lot of mistakes and I still do a lot of mistakes and I always will. And that's almost like it is, like the book is. It's actually not a guidebook. It's actually my life um, of mess ups and, and things like that camping. Uh, I learned through the past. I mean, you just can't jump into camping and learn just like that. You can't dress as a f fashion designer camper and learn it on one weekend. You have to learn very slowly. And that's what I try to do in the book. I try to show, like, this will happen to you, but, you know. But, I mean, sometimes people, I guess, will learn. I mean, I've learned from my mistakes, but I guess that's a, a natural thing for people to try yeah. and jump into camping and, and you know, okay, I'm going to get all the gear and, and get the best money can buy kind of thing. And you've talked a lot about that in, in your book as well. The great Tilly Hat Syndrome. The, you wear, you wear the, the stuff and so you can survive. My first fire was uh, I put a big log on the fire and put a match underneath it and wonder why it never lit. And now I know why it never did. Well, how long have you been camping? Oh, my father brought me uh, fishing um, uh, years ago. I mean, uh, well, the, the very time, the very first time I was canoeing, I, I wore a Oh No, It's Mr. Bill t-shirt. So that's how old it was. Uh, long time yeah, ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess I, I started really getting into camping when I was 12. Started going out with my friends when we were back, way back in high school, and we still go camping together now. So all of these people, I mean, you've, you've sort of weaved all of these stories of your friends and, you know, their recipes and that kind of thing. These people do exist. They then, do exist. Right? Uh, Scott, my uh, canoe partner that I've um, known since, since high school, he's a, he's a really great guy, but um, uh, he brings everything along with him, and I always stand there at the portage waiting for him. But uh, he's a great cook, and um, which is terrible because I always have to do dishes. We have a contest. If, if you um, cook a terrible meal, you have to do the dishes. Right, you talked about that. <laughs> yeah, too. actually, of all the recipes, there's only one that's mine. <laughs> um, when it, what audience would you aim this toward? I mean, it's, uh, it is a guide. Like, I would look at it as a guide. I would stick it in my, my pack when I'm going camping and yeah. say, you know, I mean, there's great checklists in here for, for people who are going camping. Yeah, well, for the novice, it's a great guide, uh, um, it, or more so a checklist of things. But um, also for the avid uh, camper, um, it's, it's a more of read through it and laugh at yourself sort of thing. So it's made both uh, for both people or for both groups. So do you take things like, I mean, you take this along, right? I'll take it along all the time. <laughs> it, that's actually why we made it into that design, so you can pack along your backpack. Um, it's better than reading Stephen King novels uh, when the, you're, you're sitting in the tent and you're waiting for uh, your tent to become the next Noah's Ark because the rain is coming harder and harder. Uh, so that's why I filled it with anecdotes too. And that's why the last um, chapter I actually put in a, a camp fire story. That's right, the purple the gorilla. purple gorilla, <laughs> yeah. It gets them every time. <laughs> but some of the things, I mean, just to go through so people know what's in here, I mean, you talk about bears, bugs, and beaver fever. So, I mean, these are all things like drinking the water. I mean, these are all practical things, yeah. but it, it is in such an entertaining way. Is that your, you know, aim? Well, I didn't want to. Uh, I talk about how to battle bear phobia. And you, you should be bear phobic about bears. I mean, ultimately, one of these days, there's going to be one coming in your camp. I have really bad luck. I was in, on the Missinabi River last year, and every single day, a bear, at least a one bear came into my camp. I just, the, I have the terrible luck um, when I'm camping. But you have to deal with that problem. Um, the thing about bears, though, is I don't tell anybody how to react, because you're going to react whichever way that you feel. It's like the bully come up to you in the schoolyard, fight, flight, or fight. Um, don't fight with a bear. <laughs> but, uh, uh, <laughs> so you're going to react that way. So I don't tell anybody, th this is what to do. When, I, when a bear charged me, I didn't think, okay, when I read a guidebook, what did it say? I just reacted. But I, what, I, what I do do is to say how to prepare your campsite for the arrival of the great Bruin. Um, how to make sure you hang your pack, how, how to make sure you actually make sure all the odors are away from you, make sure your toothpaste is, isn't under your pillow because bears love toothpaste. Th things like that, I mean, those are tips that I would never have even thought about, you know. I wouldn't either until the bear took my toothpaste on the portage, so. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> so it's learning from your mistakes then, right? Well, that, this has been Kevin Callan, and uh, thanks for joining us. His book is called Ways of the Wild. Thanks we'll be too. right back.